Welcome back. Longhorns hoping to have Malcolm Brown and or Joe Bergeron ready for Kansas State. Mac Brown said he was surprised neither able to play against Missouri because of those injuries. Meantime, the career of Fozzie Whitaker comes to a very disappointing end with the knee injury that will require surgery. Fozzie made the announcement to the team last night, the head coach, talking about their top touchdown maker with amazement at his positive attitude after such a devastating injury. I was, I was upset, mad, sad. I was all of the above, uh, you know, coming off to the sideline. But, uh, you know, my mom came over there. She was able to come down as soon as I got hurt, uh, able to comfort me and help me out. And, uh, you know, I, don't, I didn't want to stay in that state where I just was miserable. Because at that point in time, there's nothing I can do about it. So uh, if, if I'm just pouting or if I'm just sad and mad at the world, uh, you know, I still can't change nothing. My leg is still hurt. There's nothing that's going to come out of it. So why not go ahead and start flipping my attitude around? He is just a, a special young man and, and one that has given Texas a lot more than, than we've given him. Everything he said was, there's a reason for this, Coach. It'll be, hey, I'm fine. Uh, don't you get down. You keep your head up. Here he is picking up the 60-year-old who just lost some football game when his, uh, his knee's torn up and he'll have to have an operation. And, and he said, hey, let's go in there. we got to beat Kansas State. Let's pick these guys up. Kansas State comes in one of the surprises in the nation, 8-2, and two, coming off a four-overtime win against the Aggies. Somehow, 13th-ranked Wildcats start as nine-point underdogs in this one. Just when the Texans rolling towards their first playoff appearance, Gary Kubiak announces Matt Schaub will miss, quote, significant time with a foot injury. Later today, ESPN announcing the worst, saying Schaub is out for the season. That means Matt Leiner will take over following their bye week against Jacksonville. They are 7-3. and three. Jacobin Brown, the first Big 12 basketball player of the week, scored a career high tying 28 points in their win over Boston University last night in the season opener. Horns back at it tomorrow afternoon at 3. UT women play tonight at 8 o'clock.